last time we were here I was just set up for this is my base and let's get a bed set up first I'd like to get this place because it's it makes for passing the nights a lot better than sleeping on the floor I don't know if it actually has any like actual benefit to the game but as a you know if it was like real life kind of thing <laughs> Yeah, we're not going to have enough cloth. I'm going to have to go out and get cloth. At some point. We're getting pretty close to the night time, though. So I'm not going to be doing any uh, exploring, I don't think. Oh, not night time. Fog. <laughs> okay, that's the mist. Um, yeah, unfriendly things come when there's a mist. So We're going to stay indoors right now. We'll do a get some of this stuff organized. I'm glad I picked up a lot of stuff before we set up our base. Those batteries, I still don't know what purpose they have, but I guess we'll see. Well, the, let's get this saved, just in case. I wonder if we can reinforce those Actually, what I'm going to probably do is put the workbench in front of those windows. I don't know if the zombies will destroy it. Hopefully not. Birds are still singing, so at least... Uh, oh, we need wood. Okay, so we don't have enough rags or wood. And I don't have any trees yet. And with that, oh, there goes the, oh no, still birds. <laughs> uh, like, as soon as those birds stop, that's when uh, the unfriendly start coming. Let's try sleeping a little bit and see if we can get it through this fog a little quicker. Oh, yep, something's coming. Got to hunker down here. Try not to whisper. <laughs> it's like... <laughs> In the game, it's like you're thinking as you're going along, you're like, okay, oh, okay, yo, something's here. That's not good. Hopefully, they're not coming in. We've got to get some spears built. That's where we needed that knife for. Hopefully, they're not in the house. I think that, yeah, I've got ammo for the, for the rifle at least, or the. Machine gun or whatever, what is it called? Yes, good. That's a little safer feeling. <laughs> Not hearing anything else. But the mist isn't over yet, so they gotta be out there still. Oh, yep. Yeah, we're at that window. Not, oh, hey, okay, I forgot all about these. I thought you could open up the stove. I guess not. Don't have to take it all out of here, so this will be good for storage. I'll just have to remember that this stuff is here. Okay, booze. I think that's for Molotovs, I think. Not 100% sure about that. Salt, that'll be good for once we get a drying rack and we can start make getting meat. We go hunting and stuff, get a kill a bear and stuff. We can get meat and fat, which then can be rendered down into a, to be used as a fuel. I think it's what you'd use, if, if I can remember incorrectly, I think you use the renderings for cooking the cleaning the water, I think. Oh, yep, yeah, they're still out there. Yeah, let's go in here. Close that door just in case if they decide to break through. I will be building a gate in front of the door area, because then you can actually, they can't, at least last time I played, they weren't able to get through that. Oh, we got birds, so that, okay, good, the sun came back out. 
didn't have anything on last time you, you, they didn't wouldn't have anything on them if uh let's get some trees but they wouldn't have anything on them unless you killed them again the miracle of editing <laughs> those trees like took a lot of hits to get down but uh, that one had a blueberry in it <laughs> Let's go look in the garage. I don't know if there was nothing in there. Hey, well, there was a zombie out there. Yeah, like I said, nothing in them. No, can't do the garbage can. I like to get stuff closed back up because the if the zombies come out, I don't know if they would go hide in those. This will be nice. We'll have this truck. Actually, I got a battery. Let's go in the house and grab the battery quick and get it put in the in the truck. Hey, sticks. Could probably just lay the sticks on the floor, but I'm still not hurting for room too much yet. Probably gonna first place I'm thinking I'm gonna go is across the the road there. There's like a military outpost. There's usually pretty good stuff there. Let's get some boards built. That way we can kind of work on. Uh, well, first I want to get some of the boards back up on the window. To kind of detour them. I don't know if they can climb through the windows. I've never actually seen them do that. And we'll put the rest of the boards into the bed. We still need a couple rags. Hopefully we'll be able to find... That was weird. On the top of the bed it looked like there was symbols for like nails, but it's not asking for nails. Grab another tree real quick. good to get those because oh <laughs> I hadn't looked at my thirst and stuff until just now I'm gonna have to take some time and go eat pretty soon and drink oh must be full uh, that door closed and it's like it, it doesn't always line up to where, where you can actually hit the button. But I always close the door behind me just in case you never know when there's going to be a, a mist and you don't realize it's going to hit. You know, we'll grab, our, grab a Coke and a chocolate bar. Fill up on our, some of our hunger. Uh, eat some of the fruit, too. That one's a good one because it, uh, like I said last time, it hits your hunger and your thirst. And a blueberry. Go through our in what we can build here. We've got a shield would probably be nice. And there's the Molotov that I was talking about before. Oh, let's work on our bench, workbench. We're gonna place it in front of this window. I'm gonna rotate it around. And we'll see if the Zombies will actually, if they'll break the workbench, not really a good way to experiment, but eventually I'll build like a fence between, so that they can't go between the two buildings and get to those windows. And you can build big barrier walls too. Oh, nighttime. 20 hundred hours. If you listen close, it's kind of freaky that yeah, for the distance. You can hear talking. <laughs> it's freaky because really the only people out there are supposed to be zombies and there are camps around. So you start wondering are they out exploring? Because if you, there's some of the camps where they'll shoot at you. And you can rescue people too, which then that's really nice because they come and they work for you. Don't have our bed yet, so let's just sleep right here. 
Let's see if we can't hit nine hours without getting woke up. Nice, made it through the night. A lot of times the zombies... It's, I'm thinking being up in the second story of the house might help. Because when I was always setting up in those... that There's a house in the middle of the woods. And it's only a one story. And there's a window in the bedroom. And when I'd set up in there, it you get woke up a lot because they're walking all around outside. And I've never actually set up in this. I've watched other people do playthroughs and stuff. And they would they would set up in this house and it always seemed like a good place to set up. I'm glad I ran into it first because typically I would set up the first place I find because you never know when the mists are going to come and you want to have a place to shelter. Well, we got our workbench up. Still a little hazy out here, but I don't think it's a... It's not a mist haze, it's a morning haze. So we're gonna run across and get go over to that camp. Ex-military camp, it looks like. Let's see what we can find over here. As long as those birds are singing, it's good. You gotta kind of keep your eye open, though, too, because they're a bear. Like you saw in the first episode, that one I was able to avoid. We still got gas. We got gas in these. We need a gas can. Let's go check out the bus. Ah, there we are. Gas can. Pick that up. And now we can start gathering, getting gas for the truck. Well, that's a good one. We're looking for another Coke and some blueberries. I don't know if I would actually eat blueberries or laying in a broken down old car, but <laughs> holy well. Yeah, we'll siphon out the gas out of this car and get it in the can so we can get it over to our truck. There's a tool kit. Oh, wow. It's pretty good. 2.31 liters. I'm not going to do much in the breaking down cars this time. I'm going to be more exploring. Oh, good. We need that cloth. We're going to need that for our bed. I think we needed two more, I'm pretty sure. Sometimes there's cases on the backs of these trucks, but uh, nope, not this time. And that doesn't open. Oh, I already looked through this one. I gotta remember to leave those doors open on cars that I've ex looked through, which... Can't go through that. Sometimes there's stuff on top of these, too. Up on the blue. Let's see what we have over here. <clears throat> there's another rifle. Uh, I'm just gonna leave it this time. At least I know it's here, if my other one, because I've already got one. And I'm trying to save on room right now, until I can start getting stuff built. Check the backs of these trucks, sometimes there's stuff... Oh good, yes, we need that. We need, now we only need three more tires. And there's a water up on top of that. Let's get up there and get that. It'll be good to have once we start making, boiling our own water. So we're going to need a... Blue, there's water carriers so you can take the put it in the back of the truck and take it down to the lake. Oh, good, canned fruit. That's good. Um, but yeah, you take the take it down and you get a bucket and you can scoop water out, and put it in the dirty water in, and then you can distill it to get more drinking water. Which all that is as the game progresses becomes more and more vital. I can come back for that cave, that cabinet too there, eventually. Cool kit. <laughs> it always freaks me out when the wind and the birds stop singing for a second. Oh good, another cloth, that we need that. Oh yeah, there's a case. I think we're going to take that one. We're going to leave the filing cabinet for right now. And it's got stuff in it too. 
grenade fragments and a grenade. Let's grab that. And head back towards the... There's a lot of cars here to, to break down, which is good. We'll have to do a run over just strictly for breaking down cars, but kind of went wait until I have the sledgehammer. We'll see what we need for that. It's always fun trying to get over these barriers, the, especially carrying a box. It, yeah, they get caught. Then you just pick it up from the other side. To carry it over. And nice thing is the home house is right there. Run over. Let's uh, let's. I think we're gonna get the stuff in the truck. That way we're not storing it. We've got a tire, and we got some fuel. And we've got to, okay, we got to go to the front. Okay, this is where we put the tires on. And you gotta remember, as the stuff is progressing, time is passing, and you can get attacked if something comes up behind you or if a mist rolls in so you want to kind of keep your ears open too okay let's get this case inside the door open yeah we're running Right around 17 and a half, 18 minutes. So I think we're we get the door closed. And I think we're going to end the episode there. Thanks for watching. You have a great night, and we'll see you in the next one.